have to do Riga. Anyways, I'm still feeling a bit off, but I'm getting better. Took some paracetamol. I'm about to go explore this amazing looking city. I don't know where I'm going. I have no plan. I'm probably going to gravitate towards a market, but let's see how it goes. Wish me luck. <laughs> seen it in the UK it gets exported all over the Baltics all over Europe basically but yeah that's pretty iconic and Latvian friends always get their picture taken next to it whenever they go so here it is McDonald's of course uh, and over here that we're coming up to now I believe is if we just get this truck out of the way I believe this is the Freedom Monument, as far as I know. I'll have to like leave a comment or something once I've researched it. Yeah. And here's the river, which is looking real nice. That's beautiful. Ooh, ooh. On a side note, while we're here, supposedly this weekend is meant to be a half marathon taking place in Riga. I actually met somebody at the hostel last night who's running in the half marathon. The guy is 62 years old from Ireland and he's been running marathons his whole life since he was nine years old. So that's really impressive. Anyway, I'm heading towards this market now. I've done a bit of digressing and a bit of distraction. I need to keep my eyes on the prize. So here's some parking in city center. So as far as I know, I think the first hour is three euros and every following hour is 250. Which is slightly cheaper than London but not much cheaper. Yeah. And this is the National Opera House. Quite interesting. But anyway, let's carry on and we'll get to this market, shall we? Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen, she lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. And what I would do for that link up in person? 
Text me the fault through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like it's been that. When the fuck you looking at the bill stack? Off the bubby, buddy, I've been stressed out. Let the smoke stream from my chest out. Niggas laced up, I really hate love from a stranger. Shit is fake stuff, only need it from you. Yeah. Crash land in the palm of my hand. Bad little flex, wanna play by the coast. Carry the torch, I'm way up the slitty, wherever we flow. Came from the cold, used to rest on the floor And stitch up my wounds, was born a soldier Flipping the struggle, I'm taking it worldwide Hold it down when you talk to me Say it is what it's supposed to be Say it loud, but I mean it to you Talk that good when you talk to me Say it nice and I give it to you You know my word is fun, yeah What we on now is wild, shit a trip Life is slid, take a so back at the bus station where we originally came from yesterday and over here is the market that I'm just about to go check out wish me luck cameras, no bikes, no rollerblades, no smoking and no guns. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm about to leave, but I might have a look in this shop first, see what they get. Alright, so now I'm heading out the market, I'm all done, got some pretty cool stuff, now we'll go see what the rest of Riga looks like. Oh, where have I just come out of? There we go. I just found this at the shop, it's called Gangster Bar, that is freaking awesome. I think they're made in Ukraine, which doesn't surprise me, but yeah, Gangster Bar. Anyway, we got a bit of a glimpse of the market. Now I'm heading back into proper Riga, like the town itself. We'll have a look and see what's there. All right, so yeah, let's head off into the town itself and see what's there. Where I'm staying is actually the old town, but the normal town where everyone else lives, it's sort of across the river. But I find that part interesting because I like to see how actual people live as opposed to just the touristy spots, if you get what I'm saying. As you can see, they're actually just building this up and they're constructing a new pathway, I think. Annoying to walk right now, but here goes. <laughs> I don't know if, I mean, you guys don't really know me that well, but, like, I suffer from anxiety a lot. Like, every day I get some form of anxiety attack. I mean, back in my younger days, it used to really take over my life. I mean, I wouldn't go out, I wouldn't do anything. I literally had, like, just a fear of just dropping dead. But, thank God, nowadays, you know, you, you learn to swallow it down. You get, in a, you get something, a bit of anxiety rising, you swallow it down. I'm not cancelling anyone that, like, you know, still suffers with it badly, because I still do. You get those days. Wake up in the middle of the night, your heart's pounding. But what I want to say is, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, this is my 52nd country. 52 countries I'm on right now. And I've had to live through this the whole time. But, you know, sometimes you just got to get up and do it. Because if not, it's like, you know, we've only got one life, so we've got to live it. That's just what I want to say. Yeah, this place is totally deserted right now. on your, they pump on your Nike fly. See Shalom, they heal the blast, now stay alive. Bad timing with the pride. Too fly by the Commodore. Hardly never, hardly never did we cut a deal. Have your leather, have your leather, tell you how I feel.
Alright, espresso and a cheeseburger. So this is basically Hess Burger, which is the like Baltic equivalent of like Burger King McDonald's. Let's see what it's like. Not too bad. So it's a cheeseburger. I've got an espresso, that looks pretty foamy. Let's try. Yo, they actually put mayonnaise in their burgers here, like just in a basic cheeseburger, they have mayo. They never do that at McDonald's. Oh, 22 degrees today. So this is the main station terminal and it's also the main shopping center in Riga, they call Origo. And they've got everything here, I mean they've got like the big hypermarket they call Rimi. Rimi seems to be like all over the Baltics, I've also shopped in Rimi in Lithuania as well. And maybe they'll also have one in Estonia. But yeah, here it is. It's quite impressive inside. Anyway, let's go take a look inside and see what it's like. This is the Lima chocolate shop. the way we used to be when I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better better when I look at what I've done now that we are apart when I look at what I've won I've come so far I know I'm so much better oh, and baby you don't belong 
heading back now because my battery is about to die. I've got about 10% and I don't actually know my way back without a map. So I'm going to have to conserve what i got. Ah, so I've just about made it in the distance, I believe. It's just over there. Finally found my hostel. Just after encountering some very happy Harry Krishnas.